man, that was definitely harder than yesterday. Damn. Oh, as soon as I looked at the footage, I realized that it kind of moved all right on, on, on camera. Um, I just felt like on squat three, four, and five, my positioning went out a little bit and I felt more strain in my mid-back. Uh, that's probably because my legs were kind of not up for the task and so they shifted, you know, force onto the posterior chain. But anyway, on the, uh, on the camera, it looked pretty good. But I just want to say this, that you can't always go by the speed of the bar uh, because we all know that the posterior chain is usually, for most people, uh, stronger than the anterior chain. And so when you get out of positioning, the tension goes to the posterior chain. The posterior chain is tough, right? So you can kind of accelerate the bar for you. Um, this is the thing when it comes to training, that you're supposed to be analyzing not only how the, the image looks, but also how it feels and your positioning. Because bar speed could be gained by several different sources. We want the number one source to be the quads, right, and the glutes. Um, so the reason why I felt like it was harder today was because I felt like the legs were not strong enough, and so I leaned over a little bit more, and my posterior chain got engaged a little bit more. The bar speed probably didn't change on camera, but I felt I was using different muscles for it. Um, that sounds like, oh, it's not a big deal, man, just get the bar up. It's not that way, uh, because that if you just accelerate and fast forward, say, 10 weeks of this type of training, where you're just only measuring the bar speed, uh, you're gonna completely change your main drivers, and all of a sudden you are plateauing um, after the 10 weeks really, really hard, and you can't understand why. It's because your technique has changed to the weight um, and your body hasn't gotten stronger because of the weight um, at certain spots. So I have this idea of how I want to squat, um, and so I'm always kind of chasing that idea. Yeah, I could put more weight on the bar, but I, I would have to sacrifice form, and that to me is not a good trade-off. I still want to squat a particular way. Um, obviously, if I rolled the bar down my back a little bit more and go low bar, probably I could add a significant amount of weight on the bar. I do not want to do that. I want to train the high bar squat, um, and it's kind of like a continuum between the low bar and the high bar. Um, somewhere on that continuum, you got to stop before it starts to kind of go into a hybrid squat and further on towards a low bar squat. Um, so this is where training intensity has become really important. This is where coaching becomes really important. Um, because one view on the camera is, might not tell the whole story. There could be many, many other things happening at, this, at the same time. Um, you might not feel, for example, that you're leaning a little bit forward. I certainly feel. I have practice every single day, so I kind of know exactly what I'm... Well, I think I, I know what, what's happening with my positioning. Especially, I just judge the tension on my back. If I feel weight on my mid-back, I know that mid-back is working. Why is the mid-back working? Well, it's probably because I leaned over a bit more. I don't tend to feel hamstring engagement, quad engagement. Um, I just kind of feel my knees kind of travel backwards. Um, so my, my, my knees extend quicker than my hip extend. And that's kind of your hip rising scenario. Anyway, um, still gonna continue with the 170 times five. Uh, I think this is a good weight for me. Uh, I think it'll take a couple of days to kind of to fine tune. Like yesterday was the first time I did 170 times five as a daily minimum, so this is the second day. And it's probably gonna take a, a few more days to kind of to climatize to this weight and for my body to kind of catch up and realize. And then probably I'll give it a week, maybe a week or two. Um, I mean, there's no timelines on this. I'll give it some time for my body to catch up with that and then down the track, hopefully, if everything goes well, go up to 180 times five. Um, I think times five is working really well for me right now. I've certainly had a, a, a big block of, you know, working with, I've already mentioned, sets of 30, sets of freaking 50 with various different weights. Um, now that type of regimen is down to once a week and I'm working these daily minimums of sets of a single set of five. Uh, that's really cool. working really well. And I'm also throwing in the deadlifting as well once a week. Um, once a week proper deadlift session, but I'm also deadlifting every day with just 60 kilos as a warm up to the squat. So uh, I'm in a good little spot right now. The bar's moving well. Um, I've kind of worked out a weight for the bar where it's not too heavy, not too light. It's kind of, it's kind of really cool. Anyway, so that's all I've got for you today. Um, we'll do it all again tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> See you guys.